Hi guys, it's Greg Tran with Gregor Group Real Estate here in Austin, Texas. Today I've got a market update for you and we're recording this on June 16th. We always follow the market really closely, but especially since COVID hit, we've been making sure that we're checking every single week on what the numbers are showing us. Of course, this isn't a crystal ball. I can't tell you what's gonna happen in the future. But what I can do is give you a real accurate snapshot of what this market is looking like and doing right now. First, I'm just gonna give you a couple of simple stats, then I'll tell you what they mean. And last, I'll tell you what this means for you if you're a buyer or a seller in today's market. The biggest change in the Austin area real estate market since COVID hit is that the number of sellers putting their home on the market has dropped. In the last four weeks, it's been about 15% less than it would be at the last year at this exact same time. So I'm sure you know, Austin has been a seller's market for a long time. We're, we've always been a low inventory market with not enough supply, and it's an even bigger issue now since there are less homes coming on the market. The interesting thing is on the buyer side, that actually hasn't slowed at all, and a lot of indications actually point to the fact that, it's, that there are more buyers, there's more demand out there, uh, one of the things that's showing this to us is that when I look at how many houses are going under contract each week, so going pending, uh, when we compare to a year ago, we actually have more houses going under contract now than we did at the same time last year. And understand, this is with us already having a reduced inventory, right? So we have more buyer demand, less seller supply, and what this is causing is a lot of multiple offer situations out there. Another way I look at it is this. Over the last four weeks, there have been about 1,200 homes that have come active onto the Austin market. In that same time, about 1,280 homes have gone under contract. So that means each week, the inventory is actually dropping. Week after week, the amount of supply in the market is getting smaller. The market is moving faster, and there's more competition for less number of houses. Of course, these are really just numbers, they're stats. What does it really look like out there in the street? I can tell you this, just like the numbers are showing, the market is moving so, so fast. Uh, last week our team had eight different buyers that we put in contracts for, and seven of those ended up in multiple offer situations. Especially when it comes to popular price points and popular areas, if a home is priced correctly and looks good, you can anticipate, you can anticipate that you might have some competition there. So what does this mean? If you're a seller, right now is actually a really good time. There are less sellers putting their home on the market, so for you, there's less competition, but on the buyer side, there's more, and there'll be more people looking for your house. On the buyer side, look, it's not gonna be the easiest. You may have to go over ask price. You may have to make the offer pretty sweet to get it accepted. But the silver lining is this. Interest rates right now are at all time lows. Take a look at this chart here. You can see that before, about 20, 2010, is when we hit lows on interest rates and it came up a little bit. I mean, really not that much, but now we're back at the bottom. I just had a client tell me that they refied their home, 15 year mortgage, they got it for 2.75. Another client locked in a 30 year mortgage at 3%. Understand, rates are different for everybody and they can change quickly without any kind of notice. So if you would like to speak to a lender, whether it's for a refinance or for a purchase, let us know. If you, don't have a, if you don't have a trusted lender, we can certainly recommend one to you. Thank you so much for watching all of our videos. If you want to hear more about the real estate market or have specific questions, please, you can just reach out to me. Also, just hit the subscribe button below and you'll get these videos in your inbox once they come out about every two weeks. Talk to you soon.